Selecting the technology stack for your startup is an important step in which all the pros and cons of each technology should be considered carefully. Once technologies are selected, changing them later on will require almost complete rework of the development performed thus far. Be wary that your developers may recommend technologies based on their convenience, knowledge, and past experience, which may not be the best choice for your project. Make sure that the latest versions of each technology are used, as using older versions of technologies will result in problems and incompatibilities down the road. Hi everyone, this is Vivek Srivastava. Welcome to my channel. Today I have for you a lessons learned video where I will speak about selecting the correct technologies for your startup. This is important and should be considered carefully because once you select the technologies then switching to different technologies later on will generally involve basically throwing away whatever development has been done so far with the previous technologies and starting over. If you have been following my sequence of videos, you will have made a prototype of your product and have the UI screens mostly completed. It is at this stage that you should decide what technologies you'll use for your startup's product or services. What do I mean by technologies? I mean the programming languages, tools, platforms, and services that you will use to build the product or service for your startup. For example, you may choose to build your website using WordPress and develop your smartphone app using React Native in the front end and JavaScript in the back end and MySQL as your database. Alternatively, you may wish to have React Native for your website and Ionic for the app's front end and .NET and SQL Server as your back end and database respectively. There are pros and cons for each selection and you should carefully consider all aspects for each choice. Selection of technologies applies to non-software centric startups as well where you will need to select the technologies for whatever product or service that you are providing. For example, if your startup is a restaurant, you'll have to select the various technologies involved in a restaurant, such as the stoves, the ovens, the refrigerators, freezers, equipment, etc. Furthermore, you will have to select the suppliers and various third parties as well. Therefore, the selection of technologies is relevant to all businesses and not just software centric ones. It's just that the technologies are different for different types of startups. So how do you go about deciding the technologies for your startup? For anything software related, you have to figure out your stack. What do I mean by a stack? A tech stack is the combination of technologies used to develop a web or mobile app, including programming languages, frameworks, libraries, and databases. A tech stack typically consists of the following layers front-end, back-end, database, and hosting service. The front-end focuses on the user interface and user experience, basically everything that the user sees and interacts with. It uses technologies like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and frameworks and libraries like React, Angular, or Ionic. The first thing to consider here is if you're developing a smartphone app, do you want to use native code or a hybrid technology? Hybrid allows you to write one code base and quickly and e easily use it for both Android and iOS. Native code requires you to code in two different native languages for iOS and Android respectively and maintain both code bases throughout the lifetime of the product. You will need to consider the pros and cons carefully and make a well thought out decision here. Once you start with native or hybrid, switching later on will require you to rework the code completely. The size and scope of your project and the industry domain or area it is catering to will be factors that you will need to consider in making your decision as well. The availability of developers is also a factor and as of the time of recording of this video, React Native seems to have the most developers available. You don't want to be in a situation where you have trouble hiring developers and the project is slowed down a block because of developer unavailability. Another issue regarding the front-end technology is to ensure that you choose a technology that has plugins and libraries available for what you are trying to do. The developers will attempt to find plugins and libraries from the web as part of their development effort for your project and should be able to do so easily. Finally, ensure that the technology you choose is the latest one and will be well supported in the future. The backend includes all server-side functionality, including routing, business logic, and database interfaces. 
Some examples of backend technologies are Java, Python, .NET, and frameworks include Django, Ruby on Rails, and Spring. The backend interfaces with the front end via application programming interfaces or APIs that the developers create. The backend also interfaces with the database that you are using for your project. The important thing here is selecting a backend technology that is a good fit for what you are trying to build. The ability of the technology to scale up as you get more users should be considered as well as the speed of processing and efficiency in processing tasks. Consider the ease of maintaining and updating the technology over time, as well as the availability of patches, security updates, and version control. A clue to the robustness of the technology is how well it is documented and how active a developer community it has. As with the front end, ensure that the technology you choose is the latest one and will be supported in the future. A database is used to store and retrieve data for your application and interfaces with the backend. Some examples of backend technologies are MySQL, MongoDB, and NoSQL. Some criteria to be considered for selecting a database for your data storage needs are the scalability of the database, integration with your backend technology, cost of the database, and the support and documentation available. A hosting platform is where your application will be deployed and run, and selecting the correct, the correct hosting service is an important decision that you will have to make. Mainly, you will have to consider what your app or website is doing and what its hosting requirements are. What bandwidth will you need? How much storage will you need? What security does the hosting service provide? What uptime do they promise? And how much support do they provide? These are some of these questions that you will have to ask and then evaluate the overall service provider that best meets these needs. Typically, the expensive hosting providers offer good choices for these criteria. However, do not assume that an expensive and famous hosting service will fulfill all your particular needs. You will have to also choose between open source versus paid technologies. Open source is free technology that can be used without any payment or licensing fees. However, the disadvantage is that there is no obligation or promise from anyone that the technology will be supported and it could be discontinued and disbanded at any time. Technical support does not exist for open source software and you will have to ask around in forums if you need questions answered. You may get answers or you may not. There may be some complexity in setting things up with open source solutions as well. Open source may be a good choice if you have financial limitations, but if you can afford it, you will probably want to go with closed source paid technologies and software. Make sure that whichever technologies you end up selecting, you are using the latest versions of everything. This may be news to you, but some of you may be unaware of this, that programming languages also have versions like software programs. If you use an older version of a language, then there may be issues with libraries associated with it no longer working and plugins no longer being compatible with it anymore. You don't have to be the, at the absolute latest version of the language, but you cannot be very far behind with the version either. Or you will have constant problems in the future with various plugins and libraries not working, which will ultimately result in your app not working for your end users. The benefits of selecting the correct technology stack, incorporating front end, back end, database, and hosting service are that you will have fewer problems and breakdowns in the future. You will have good scalability as your business grows and bandwidth requirements increase. You will have better maintainability as technologies change and updates are quickly and easily implemented. You will basically have good cost effectiveness for your startup. The drawbacks of not selecting the correct technology stack are that numerous problems will occur that while you may be able to fix or work around in the beginning will ultimately have to be corrected by changing the technology itself. This will be very costly and time consuming. So please make sure that you choose the correct tech stack right at the beginning. A pitfall that you must avoid during selection of the technologies is that your developers or staff members may recommend certain technologies based on their past experience and comfort level with these technologies, but their choice may not be the right one for your startup. I myself made this mistake as I trusted the choices made by the third party that I had outsourced the work to, and they selected the tech stack based on their convenience and the in-house knowledge that they had at the time, which ended up being completely inappropriate for my startup. 
I then had to make changes to this tech stack later, which resulted in time and cost delays for my startup. Do not let this happen to you and do not trust someone's advice blindly. Get more than one person's advice on this matter. Selecting the correct tech stack is a step that many entrepreneurs get wrong for a variety of reasons, which results in numerous problems and challenges later on. Take advantage of the information being presented here and make sure that you select the right technologies, services and tools for your startup. So that's all I have for technology selection and its importance to your startup. In this video, I wanted to highlight the significance of selecting the correct technologies for your startup. I hope you found the content useful. Please comment below and provide your feedback. See you all next time. Take care and good luck everyone.